what is going on man welcome to the channel it's your boy sydney um today i want us to talk about the the, the differences between the Central University of Technology and University of the Free State, UFS. Like, one thing that we know for sure is that both of them are in Bloemfontein, not that far from each other. But what is the difference? Now, let's let's delve right into the video and not waste any time. So, when it comes to a similarity, I think it's fair to say that both of them are universities in Bloemfontein. Both of them have um, two campuses. The UFS has uh, a campus, two campuses in Bloemfontein and another campus in Coaqua. The University of Technology also has two campuses in Bloemfontein and one campus in, in Velcom. We have a, a Velcom campus. The, the University of the Free State, they have the South Campus and the, the main campus. Both of them in Bloom, as I already said. And the main campus obviously is in Bloom and the other campus or the second campus is in, in Coaqua. I've never been there, I don't know what it's like. But the CUT, we have another campus in, in, in Velcom. I also haven't been there and I don't really know what it's like. But yeah, that's a similarity, the first similarity that we know about. Uh, we're not trying to talk about the, the similarities. We're trying to talk about the differences. Like, what are the differences? CUT is like, it's a technicon. I don't know what a technicon is, but they like to say that it's a technicon. But I think it's, it's a university that is not a university. I think that's how I can explain it but it's not really a traditional university it's a technicon and then the UFS is, is like a, a, a traditional university in that it offers pretty much everything they have law at CET they have I mean at UFS they have law they have health sciences they, you, you can go and uh, study medicine there at the UFS but you can't study medicine at, at CUT you can study um, a lot of things a lot of things also commerce in commerce you can study i think all sorts of things in commerce but at cut we are limited like we don't have medicine we don't have nursing we don't have our commerce is not also our commerce faculty is not also um as broad as they have in ufs so i think it's fair to say that the ufs is slightly bigger it's a lot bigger actually than the, the cut another difference that i think is clear is that the cut compared to the UFS. We can make an example and compare them to, if you're in Pretoria, and compare them to University of Pretoria and TUT. I think University of Pretoria as well is, um, it's like, it's a national, it's, it's a traditional, sorry, it's a traditional university, but TUT is it's also a university or a technicon if you like. I think when you say it's a technicon, it's a bit more precise. So you can say that it's a technicon and the other one is a university both of them are varsities we like to say but that's the difference oh another difference is that since the ufs is bigger they have like a lot of students than cut or compared to cut they have like um so much students and their campus as well is it's so big ufs is very big i think ufs the size of ufs is like three times the size of cut that's how big it is it's like it's very very large i think that's another notable, I mean, notable difference. And another difference between the CUT and the, um, the UFS is that since they have more mess, like large numbers of people compared to CUT, or the population there is bigger than that of CUT, it also means that it's more diverse. Like, I think the UFS is more diverse than the university, or, uh, the, the, um, the CUT. But not to say that CUT is not diverse, though it's also very diverse. But I think C, I mean UFS is very, very diverse compared to compared to CUT as well. You have a lot of white people there. You have a lot of people there from a lot of provinces, from many provinces, or all, all the provinces in the country. I think it's fair to say that. So I think that's another difference. The UFS is, is very, very diverse. They have also a lot of sports compared to CUT. I know CUT we have a lot of sports as well, but not as much if we compare it to the the, the University of Free State. Do I, would I have preferred to go to the UFS compared to um, CUT? Probably not. Why? Because I think since CUT's campus is a little bit smaller, it's like, it's easier to, 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 to get along there. It's easier to, to relate with CUT more when you come from, from, um, from high school. Why? Because the campus is small. It means people can get along well. Like, pretty much, 
people know each other easily or easier in, in CUT than the UFS because I think UFS is, is very, very large. So in CUT, we are all in one campus, or majority of us are in one campus, we get to meet each other a lot. I think in, in, in the UFS it's possible that a person can be, or people can be in one campus and they won't even meet each other throughout the whole day. At CUT it's still possible, but it's not that likely. If anyone is on campus on any particular day and you want to see them, you are more likely to run into them without even arranging to meet up with them. So it's more easier to relate with the CUT campus and it's, it's, it's like it's more easier to live in than the UFS campus because when you come from high school it's, it's, it's much more relatable. In terms of how the, the, the universities are run, I think the UFS again, it takes um, more credit in how it's run because I think it's run better. In my opinion, I'm a CUT student, I love CUT, I enjoy being there and I don't regret being there as well because like I chose to be there. So I think, but I still think that uh, UFS is run better or slightly better than the CUT. Yes, they have their own problems and I know a lot of students as well from the UFS or who have attended the UFS and I know it's not, it's got its pros and cons and so does CUT but I think overall I think UFS is run better than, than CUT. <laughs> you know what they also say, the reason why I'm laughing is that they like saying um, students of CUT they don't know English, they like to say that we are not very fluent with English, our English is, is work. They like to say our English is work when we compare to, to the students of CUT. That is kind of true because many people in, 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 um, in the UFS, they went to probably to private schools, if you like to call them, and not public schools. I myself have been to both a private school and uh, a public school. I don't know how else to call them, but I hope you understand. So in, obviously in private schools they speak a, lo a, a lot more English than they do in public schools but that, isn't, that doesn't make them inferior, like we cannot use the yardstick of someone speaking English fluently to say that um, they are good people or they are better or to measure them or to measure their intelligence. Oh another thing, have you seen the cafeteria of CET? I think if, if you want to see the cafeteria of CET you can go into, you can go and watch it or watch my CET campus tour I think that can give you an overview of it and then you can also I don't know if people do them do like uh, UFS campus tours but I've been to that cafeteria once I think I went there in 2019 uh, it was like an open day or something and their cafeteria is so big bro like their cafeteria is so so big I think that's one thing because I love food and I, I have to know that one so the cafeteria is also very very big and if you like food like me and you're on campus and you got money you know that you don't need to, to, to get off campus to get yourself some food. Apart from ordering, you know, you can physically go into um, decent restaurants to get yourself some food. You can see I'm in the bus, man. I'm trying to get like uh, better. I'm trying to make a, a better video in here and I hope I have. And on that note, we're going to close the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourself, man. I'm sorry. I'll see you again in the next video. Bruh, I've been working. Look at my nails. They're so dark. I've been working hard. It's the pros and cons of being at home. I know why I say the pros and cons of being at home. And yeah, that's why my nails are, are like this. I don't want you guys to judge me. Alright, that's why I have to confess. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, man. Ciao.